Do not tell my friend about this, okay? She doesn't need to know. Hello, we are back in the kitchen. Obviously, as you have seen today, we are making Valentine's Day cookies because the day that this video comes out, it is actually Valentine's Day. So I just wanted to wish you all a happy, happy love day, whether you are in a relationship or not. Show yourself some self-love today. Spoil yourself. I hope you have a great day. And just give yourself something that you wouldn't usually, you know? It is all about love, no matter what form it's in. So I'm actually filming this before Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day was the day before. And I'm making these for my friends because I'm hoping to just give them a little bit of like a little hot cookie. The recipe is from TikTok. The link is down below if you want to try it. I've never done anything like this before where it has like extra steps I don't usually take. So you usually only do recipes that like require three ingredients and minimal effort because I do not have the skill in the kitchen to do anything more than that. But today we're gonna try. We're gonna try. And I'm hoping it's gonna be okay because there is something that's really important that I am missing for this recipe, but we're gonna try it and see how it goes. First things first, we're gonna brown some butter, which I've never done before, so I'm hoping it's gonna be okay, but apparently it can take quite a while. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and figure that out together. I'm gonna take you to the stove. Okay, I think it's hot enough to put in the butter. So that's just what I'm gonna do. Oh my god. Okay, I think she's done because it smells caramelly and I don't want to burn it and I don't want to risk it. So we're going to take this off. Okay, so now that, that is off, I'm just going to quickly put the oven on for 180 degrees Celsius. Well, it's like 176, but it's 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to let that go preheat in the background. Okay, in the meantime, while the butter was browning, I was kind of multitasking. I had already sifted through the flour, which I think was two cups of flour, and three fourths teaspoon of baking soda. Yeah, baking soda, and then a teaspoon of salt. So definitely sifted, that set aside. We're now doing the sugar at the moment. It is one and one fourth a cup of brown sugar. I'm trying to like follow the instructions to the best of my ability for a change. Like I'm even using the little measurements for the spoons and everything, which I don't usually do, I just estimate it, but I want this to actually work. <laughs> I'm gonna do one egg and two egg yolks. Now, separating the yolks from the egg white has never been a specialty of mine, so I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, first the egg. Full egg. And now, now the egg yolk. Okay, hang on. Egg yolk, egg yolk. I need a bowl. I need a different bowl. I'm being dumb. Okay, here is my different bowl. I was about to try to do it over there and think that I wasn't gonna get any egg whites in that main bowl like a dumb person. I'm not the smartest when it comes to baking, especially if I'm talking at the same time, like it's just, it's not my specialty. Okay, so that's one just egg yolk. I don't know what to do with the egg whites when I'm done. What do you guys do with your extra egg whites? I don't wanna waste them, I don't wanna just throw them away, but like also have no use for them. Uh oh, this isn't gonna work as well. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Messy though. I don't like the feeling. I hate it. So now we kind of have an egg and two egg yolks. And then it's one tablespoon of vanilla. Which one's the tablespoon? I think it's this one? Yeah. A whole tablespoon's quite a lot for vanilla essence. That's the first time I haven't spilled vanilla! Wow, could this be my new era of baking where it actually works? Okay, now we're just gonna whisk it together. I do have a hand mixer, but she did it by hand. She did it by hand. She did it with just like a normal whisk. So I'm gonna do that. And I have now watched the video back and seen that she has mixed it along the way and add each ingredient and separately and then mix again. I didn't do that. I added them all together. So I'm hoping it doesn't change much. I'm hoping she just did that for instruction purposes. Cause I mean, this looks the same. I think. Right? That looks the same. 
I don't know. Watch your video and let me know if you think it looks the same. Now we're adding the flour mixture in. All the dry ingredients. Which means I no longer need the whisk. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I was gone for such a long time just trying to find that. I'm just gonna add, does she add it in gradually or just all together? It looks like it's all together. And then we're just gonna mix it gently, I guess, because it's something like this. So I'm trusting the process and just folding it in. It looks like quite a lot of flour. I'm nervous now. Also, for some context, my one friend is really good at baking, like insanely good at baking. She made us these bar one cookies ones that I think are actually like my new favorite cookie and she bakes quite a lot and every single time it's good. So I don't want to disappoint her. That's why I'm trying so hard. I don't want her to think that I suck even though I'm not. This is what it's currently looking like. It's quite dry. It looks like peanut butter, but the dryness might actually work out quite well for me, which I was going to use. Now we added in some chocolate chips. And she doesn't say how much. It looks like she uses a cup, but I mean, I guess we could just estimate and use a lot. <laughs> I think I'm probably just gonna use all of them. Oh no, that's quite a lot. Hmm, maybe I should stop. Okay, <laughs> so we have a little bit left of these, which I will do something with at some point. Now we're just gonna mix in the chocolate chips, which is quite hard, because I've realized this little thing that I'm using to mix is very soft. So it's definitely like not hard enough to counteract against this dough that is like very tough. You know what I just realized? I didn't add in the butter. I did not root properly. I need to add in my brown butter. That is why everything is so dry. This brown butter that I worked so hard on. I don't even know if it's a good idea to add it in now after everything because... Mm, interesting. It's not supposed to be added in now. Oh no, this is such a bad idea. I've melted my chocolate chips. I'm done. I'm so dumb. It's fine. It's whatever. <sighs> I'm so upset with myself. I had to switch spoons because it just wasn't working. And now it just looks like brownie batter. It's completely changed because I've obviously melted all the chocolate. And yeah, it's not it's not looking the way it's supposed to be. So I'm actually gonna just turn the oven off. I'm going to chill this in the fridge for 30 minutes come back and see if that allows me to mold it. Because the issue I've been wanting to tell you the whole time is that I don't have cookie molds. She shaped them by hand and then after just reshaped them with a cookie cutter. I don't have one. I was hoping to just be able to reshape them by hand. But now this batter is definitely not the consistency it's supposed to be. So I'm hoping sitting in the fridge for a bit to chill is gonna help me. Crossing fingers. Okay, so I'll come back from a lunch break. And these, they're not as liquid anymore, but they look very wet. So I'm a bit nervous about how this is gonna go. The oven's preheating and I'm just gonna move my hair so it doesn't go into the batter. I'm really nervous about this because I have definitely messed up. I'm just hoping it's still gonna taste good and look okay. But it's definitely not the same as it should be. So I need something to scoop it with. Maybe, so I try this. I don't know if it's a good idea, and then I'm gonna shape it with my hands. It's gonna get really dirty because I've got such long nails. Ugh. Okay, yeah, putting it in the fridge was definitely a good idea. This is much more, like, more manageable than I could have imagined, so I'm happy with that. How am I doing this? Okay. No. I'm making it into a bowl first. And then I'm just gonna try this. I'm already covered in chocolate, which is great. What if I try and I shape it on here? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do that with all of those and I'll see you now. Okay, I put them all on the tray, which I'll show you now, but first you have to promise me to not tell my friend about this, okay? She doesn't need to know. She doesn't need to know what horrible mistake I made. But yeah, they're roughly shaped. They're definitely not gonna be pretty as well as pretty as I hoped they would be, but I'm hoping they're like, you know, flatten out a bit and go in the right direction that I've kind of shaped them and I'll reshape them as soon as they come out the oven. I don't know how I'm gonna do that without burning myself, but we'll see. 
So yeah, very rough shape. I'm worried that it made them a bit too thick, but I'm hoping they flatten out. Into the oven they go. I definitely could not reshape them to be hot. They are nowhere near hot. So if anyone asks, I didn't try and make hearts. They're supposed to be V's. V for Valentine's Day. That is what they're supposed to be. Let's just say that because that is all I could make. I cut them off with a knife and I've got a bunch of these little off cuts that taste really good. It actually tastes a little bit like a brownie, so. And this is that. Okay, I don't think this is too bad, but they are very fragile because <laughs> they are quite thin. I don't think we them too big because they're spread out a bit too much, but they are, I mean, they taste really good. That's all that really matters, right? They don't look bad and they taste really good. They, they taste like brownie cookies, which is great. At least they're edible. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. My only thing is I'm not sure how I'm gonna transport them because they just I feel like they're just gonna break, but that is a problem for another day. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chuck the rest of that batter into the oven. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and make them into V's <laughs> again, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish that off. But other than that, thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your Valentine's Day and remember to treat yourself well and spoil yourself because why not? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. I post a long form video every Wednesday at 6pm. And I also post shorts throughout the week. <laughs> please also comment down below what you are doing for yourself this Valentine's Day and give this video a like. It really helps with the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, please send baking help in the future. Bye.